Hey guys, welcome back. Coming up, we've got Sake Jumming. And I look into solutions for hair loss. But before that, come with me to check out the beauty of Pacific weapons. They were used to smash people like I sassed you guys before. <laughs> I'm sick of this. Let's get it! Yeah. <laughs> What is your profession? We've all seen the epic movies about ancient warriors, but did you know our Pacific ancestors engaged in wars of the same magnitude? But what weapons did they use in these battles? And are you soldier enough to take this journey with me? Let's do it. Hi. Everybody meet Fully Pereira. She is the Pacific Curator here at the Auckland Museum. Hello, honey. Hello, honey. Fully, where are we? You're in the Pacific Reference Collection at the moment. Why is it important to have a collection of Pacific weapons? You know, on the one hand, it does give you an insight into our ancient history, but also you can see how some of the social aspects continued on today. And a lot of war dances are used in our songs. Absolutely. And... Yeah, and a lot of the clubs have also been adapted into dance paddles. So you can still tell stories about who we were back then. Yeah, and about, you know, particular battles and particular alliances that were formed. Fully, these weapons were used in war. Mm -hmm. What were we warring about? Oh, all kinds of things. Same, you know, reason that we are war at war today. Land, it's about resources, it's about prestige. Do you think we could take a closer look at some of the weapons? Sure, I've got some out to show you downstairs. OK, let's go. Cool. Right. OK, so you wanted a closer look? I did. Sling. Um, usually made of some kind of very soft fibre. And these are a range of sling stones. These are new ayan, that one's Rarotongan. And so you put it in like that? Uh-huh. Put your finger through there. Pull You've it seen it on the telly? No, you don't. It's not elastic, darling. Oh. <laughs> Swing it around your head. Oh. Yeah, and then let go. That is so cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Getting into the more the sword type um, close hand-to-hand -hand combat. This is from Kiripas and detailed with very sharp um, shark's teeth. This is so sharp. Yeah. Oh and then God. this one looks pretty harmless, but actually in underneath here are stingray barbs. Yeah, very, pretty oh deadly. Gosh. Whoa, that's yeah, heavy. It is very heavy. So where is this piece from? This piece is Fijian. So what would you do with this? Breaking bones. This looks really interesting. Now this is a, a Fijian totokia. And why is it shaped like this? It's very specific job is to pierce holes in people's skulls. My gosh. Yeah, so it's... That's intriguing and kind of gross. And we move on to Tonga. Um, huge, you know, range of um, clubs from Tonga. These are from Samoa. This is what my ancestors would have had. See, we were smart. We thought you could take a few people out at once. There were a few different strings. OK, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> and this is from New Caledonia. The loop end goes in there, and then you hold that between your index finger and your middle finger. You know, that allows you to then extend your arm kind of further back than it actually is. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Pacific people are so clever. And these little beauties are Fiji and throwing clubs. And apparently they were so good at throwing these that they could kill people at, you know, like 20 metres. This is a familiar sight, but I had no idea we have bows and arrows in yeah. the Pacific. Yeah, no, Robin Hood does not have a <laughs> monopoly on bows and arrows. <laughs> The majority of this material is Polynesian. We have a lot more that I can show you up in the galleries. All right, should we go and see it? Yep, let's go. Can you tell us about some of these weapons here, Fully? They're um, your short hand-to-hand -hand kind of weapons, so they're knuckle dusters, you know, again, with that tearing action with the shark's teeth. This little beauty here is a piece of um, shaped bamboo, so that's to lock off somebody's head. So it's like a knife to yeah, slice exactly. somebody. And um, that is the skull carrier. A skull? 
still carry yeah. home your trophy. Something like 5% of our collections are actually on display. Whoa. Yeah, most of them are in storage. And I'm more than happy to um, give people access and have, show them around. That's so cool. Well, thank you so much, Fully, for giving You're us welcome. all an insight into the weapons our Pacific ancestors use. It's given me a better understanding of where the strong Pacific warrior spirit comes from. So thank you. See you later. Bye-bye. Are you sure? I'm sure. Yes! yes! Oh my God. That's amazing! If you want to win these demon tops and caps, log on to our website and answer this question. Main two types of hair loss treatments in Corinne's next story after the break. Stick around to get down with the Tamashii Taiko Drummond! <laughs>